Hobby people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because as y'all can see, I am well overdue for a mani. You guys, these nails have been on for almost two months now and it is time to take them off, okay? Like it's, they didn't been through it and they've been holding up strong, but it's time to remove them. And I just got some new PR in that I thought would be perfect to help me remove these nails. Um, so Melody Susie was kind enough to reach out and they wanted me to review some of their filters. So these are the replacement filters that they have for their dust collector. And let me go ahead and open them up. <clears throat> so it's a three pack of filters. I believe these are also available not only on their uh, website, but also on Amazon. But um, these are the replacement filters. So whenever your filter gets dirty, oh, it comes with four. That's nice. So it comes with four replacement filters. So whenever they get dirty or needs replacing, um, they have these available. And this is their nail dust collector okay and so I'm trying to get zoomed out enough for you guys to see it but this is how you would replace it so this uh, front part comes off as a little magnet and it's nice because they have this little um, what is this little ribbon here and you just pull it up and when you need the replacement you just put the new one in and it's as easy as that so you put the new one in you click it on Oops you put this on and then you're good to go. So yeah, I thought it was really nice that they sent this over. And then also um, to go along with that, they did also send me a dust brush. And so I really like these dust brushes. I actually have one just like this. Um, this is one that I have, but um, yeah, it's always nice to have a backup of it. And I use this all the time. Um, but yeah, they also offer this. And it's really good because, um, again, you know, when you need to dust off your um, dust collector and or even just dust off your desk, these are like really perfect for doing so. So yeah, and it's really soft and fluffy. Do you guys see? Ooh, I love that. Honestly, this might be soft. Yeah, it is actually. So this one is pretty soft too. But honestly, this one is even softer. I like it. Ooh. Yeah, that's really nice. So yeah, so a big shout out to Melody Susie for sending these products over for review. And I am gonna show you all um, me filing off my nails and using the dust collector here shortly. But I did have another brand uh, reach out to me actually, and they wanted me to review um, one of their nail drills. I think the name of the company here is Sorexen, and I'm sure I'm com pronouncing that completely wrong, but I'll leave it here on the screen. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Um, it says it's a professional nail drill, and it goes up to 35,000. RPM so that's pretty high powered um, and yeah it just has the model here on the side so let's take a look see okay so it comes with the instruction manual which is really nice it says it's rechargeable nail drill this just tells you how to use the nail drill so definitely if you all have never used an e-file before definitely go through take your time read the instructions it's really important to do that to make sure you're using it properly and so yeah, let's get to the start of the show here. So this here is the nail drill itself. Um, let's see. Huh. It's kind of weird. It looks like it has oil on it. Hmm. Are you all able to see this? Yeah, it kind of looks like it has oil on it for some reason, which is kind of strange. So um, I'm gonna go take a napkin and wipe it down really quick. Yeah, it feels very slippery to the touch. Um, I'm not sure why it's oily. <laughs> um, but I hope that doesn't affect anything with how it works. But it, it feels very slick, which is kind of strange for a drill. Huh. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and just wipe this down. It still feels slick. Let me see if I can. I'm taking a little bit of alcohol here to see if I can dry out some of that oil. But it's not so slippery so it's a little strange that it's kind of oily but um outside of that it's really pretty it's really cute so this is the brand name soar or Surexin. i'm not I, like i said i don't know if i'm saying that right i apologize if i'm saying it wrong but this is what the drill drill looks like it has a i guess it's a play pause button reverse forward and then i guess this right here oh it's already on cool all right it already has a full charge i don't know if you guys are able to see that or not but it has the four green lights here and it says 811, which I'm not sure what that is, but oh, okay. Oh, reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is an R for reverse and an F for forward. And I guess that's how you pause it and play. Okay. That's good. So let me go ahead and turn it off 
And then I get the hand piece attached. So let's see. This here is the the power adapter. So you'll plug this into the wall. We have here. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, this is really cute. I think I've seen this with another drill before. Um, but isn't this really cute? It's like a little teddy bear. Um, and it lays on its back and when you open it up, it has all your drill bits in there. How cute is that? Love that. That is so adorable. And then it comes with extra sanding bands as well. But that's really helpful because this is like the little, uh, this is the rest for the, um, let's see. Okay, so this part attaches to this drill here, like so. So you wanna attach it like that. That's really cute. I love this color. I absolutely love it. And then this here, let's see. Okay, this is the drill head. Okay, so it's actually silver. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's nice and lightweight. Um, it does have a twist to lock and unlock. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, and so then this here plugs into the nail drill here. Awesome. And then it also comes with this adapter here, which is the universal plug. And yeah, I think that's it for everything that comes with it. I love that it's already charged. So then I think this is how you're supposed to, to do it. Oh no, no, like this. Okay. So this is how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to lay your, your um, the drill down like that. And then you'll have this off to the side while you drill your nail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sanding band. Um, and I'm gonna put it inside of here. And I am just so excited to take these nails off, y'all. Like I said, it's almost two months with this on. I haven't had any time at all whatsoever to do my nails. So they have been a hot mess, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and put it right here. Okay, that feels secure. And then let's see how loud it is, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Let you guys see. It's not too loud. And then let's put it, uh, I'm gonna put it in reverse. So now it's going the other way. Okay, and then let's see the pause. Okay, that's if you need to pause it. And it starts right back up. Okay, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off real quick. And I'm gonna set it here on its base. Um, okay, and um, the other thing about this is that with this piece right here, you can actually put it on the right side or the left side. So it's nice that they have that option. This is where you would plug it in there to charge it. It does have a clip on the back. So if you want to clip it onto something, you can. And yeah, it's overall pretty nice, simple drill. So let's see how it works with removing gel polish because y'all already can see this nail is way <laughs> overdue. And so let me, I'm gonna fall off my thumbnail and see how that works with the drill. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Melody Susie dust collector as well to collect all this dust that's gonna be flying around. And I already have like one of my new filters in there, so that's nice as well. And I do have a discount code as well with Melody Susie. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. This dust collector is also really nice and affordable, so if y'all wanna get your hands on this, any of the filters, or even the dust brush, they will be linked down in the description box below. Um, and feel free to use my discount code if you wanna save some coins, okay? So let's go ahead and get this started. Usually when I'm working on my left hand, I have it in forward, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna do it at maybe 7,000 RPM. And I'm gonna do it in forward, okay? And then let's go ahead and see how this bad boy works, okay? Oh yeah, definitely works. Yeah, this is pretty powerful. Oh, I didn't even turn my dust collector on. <laughs> yeah, it's very powerful.
I'll go ahead and use the dust collector I got from Melody Susie just to kind of get all the excess up into the dust collector here. Okay. I'm gonna turn this off. And yeah, y'all can see the dust, the filter definitely collected. Bring the rest of this in here too. As well. But y'all can see, you know, the filter definitely does catch everything. I don't know if y'all can see that green, but yes, it caught all of my gel polish. So yeah, y'all. So yeah, y'all can see that that ate the gel polish right off of my nail with ease. Um, and that was only at 7,000 RPM. Um, so the fact that it goes all the way up to 35 RPM, this is a very powerful drill knowing that it goes all the way up to 35 RPM. So that's pretty impressive. It's really nice and lightweight. Um, the only thing, like I said, um, was that it had oil on it when I unpacked it, but overall the drill itself works perfectly. And I think it's such a cute touch to have, you know, this little teddy bear on here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish filing my nails off camera, but yeah, I would recommend this, it's pretty nice. Um, I don't know how much it costs, like I said, I'll leave everything linked down in the description box below. Um, but yeah, thank you to um, Sorexen for sending this over for review, I do like it. And thank you Melody Susie for sending over the filters and the dust brush over for review. Um, they're all very useful items. So I'm gonna go ahead and file my nails off camera and I'll be back. I do have rubber base coat on my nails, and so that's why I didn't file um, all of it off. I do plan on just uh, doing another layer of rubber base coat on top. Um, but I just wanted to file that color off. So I'll go ahead and buff this, get it nice and smooth, and get all my other nails uh, ready to go. And yeah, I'll show you all what it looks like after I filed off all of my gel polish. So yeah, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!